today I'm going to be showing you how you can make a Discord rich presence. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like the source code for this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining my channel memberships. If you get the super god tier or custom bot tier, you will get access to that source code, meaning you can actually copy and paste the code from my videos into your bot or website. If you get the custom bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this seems interesting to you, go ahead and join the channel membership. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. So the first step in actually creating a Discord rich presence is you do actually have to create an application in the Discord developer portal. Go ahead and click the link in the description to get here if you don't know how to get here already. You can use any application that you already have, but if I were to use ESCII, Tutorial Bot, Server Manager, for example, then the name on the rich presence would be ESCII or Server Manager or Tutorial Bot. So by creating a new application, what you're going to be able to do is you can control the name of your actual rich presence. Create a new application, you can go ahead and click new application here. Just give it a name. For example, I'm just going to do tutorial rich presence. Then just go ahead and agree to the developer terms of service and go ahead and create it. In here, all you have to do is actually save this application ID. So you can just go ahead and click copy or you can come back here later. So now that we've actually gone ahead and created that application, we can go ahead and move on to the actual coding part of this. So to do that, we're actually going to go over to our desktop and we're going to go ahead and create a new folder right here and we can just go ahead and call this RPC tutorial or whatever you would like to call it. Then we can go ahead and open this folder up. In here, we're just going to go ahead and type CMD. So in our terminal here that's going to open up, we're just going to go ahead and do npm init. So just go ahead and click through every single one of these. I'm not going to show this process because that will go ahead and show my information, but just go ahead and click through every single one of them. And at the end, all you have to do is type yes to initialize your packages. After doing that, you can go ahead and open up your Visual Studio Code editor by doing code space dot in the terminal. If you don't have this installed, all you have to do is go over to the Visual Studio Code website and just go ahead and install it. You are also going to have to install Node.js for this to work as well. Both of those links will be in the description, so make sure you go ahead and do that. So we're going to go ahead and start off by going over here, and we're just going to go ahead and create an index.js file. This doesn't have to be too complicated, so we can just go ahead and create that. We're going to go up here, and we're going to go ahead and click New Terminal. In here, we're going to go ahead and start off by doing npm i discord-rpc. After installing that package, you are going to be good to go. We can just go ahead and close our terminal for now here. So now we're actually going to go ahead and start off with the actual code. So to start, we're going to go ahead and do const id equals and we're going to go ahead and open up a string here and here we're going to go ahead and paste in that client id that we got from our application in the developer portal and we're going to come down here and do const discord rpc equals require and we're just going to go ahead and get discord dash rpc just like that now we can come down here and do const rpc equals new discord rpc dot client then we can open this up and we're going to do transport and in here we're going to do ipc now we can come down here and we're going to do discord rpc dot register we can go ahead and pass in our id ID as well. Now we're just going to go ahead and create a function. So we can do async function and then we're just going to go ahead and give this function a name. So for me, it's going to be activity and we can just go ahead and open this up. In here, we're going to do if no RPC, we're just going to go ahead and simply return and do nothing. Now down here, we're actually going to go ahead and set a bunch of information for our RPC and I'm going to walk you through this. So we're going to do RPC dot set activity and we can go ahead and open this up. Now in here, we're going to start off by setting our details. So this is going to be what the RPC says. So we're going to do details and we're going to set a string and for me this is going to be rpc details i'm going to make this very clear so at the end i can actually show you what this all is and we can add a comma we're going to come down here we're going to do state now our state is going to be like the description of the rpc for me i'm just going to do rpc state to make this very clear then we're going to come down here and we're going to go ahead and make our images so we can do large image key and we can go ahead and open this up so to get an image you can put in whatever image you want for me i'm going to go over to discord and i'm just going to do like avatar for example and I'm going to get me and then it's going to go ahead and load that. Now I can go ahead and copy this link here and then I can just go ahead and put that in here. The next property that we can do here is we can actually do large image text for our large image text right here. We're just going to do large image text so I can make that clear. We can add a comma. We're now going to go through our small images. So we're going to do small image key and we're going to open up another string. Now for the small image, we're going to go back over to Discord. Now if you try to put that link that you did before in, it's going to say that that link is too big. The image does have to be pretty small. So something I like to do is right here, it's a very small image. I can just go ahead and copy that link and you can just go ahead and put it in here. You could also use an emoji if you'd like to do that. Now we can go ahead and set our small image text and for that, we're just going to do small image text. 
We're going to go ahead and add a comma here. We're going to go ahead and set our instance. We're going to go ahead and set that to false. Now we're going to go ahead and set a start timestamp. So we can do start timestamp. And for here, we're just going to go ahead and do date dot now. Now you can also go ahead and do an end timestamp. You can put in whatever you want for this, but I'm just going to do date dot now as well. Now we can go ahead and do our buttons. So we can do buttons and we're going to open up an array here. We're going to open this up as well. And we're going to do label. And for this, this is going to be YouTube. Next, we're going to do URL. And we're just going to go ahead and pass in a URL link. So for me, I'm just going to go ahead and copy my YouTube link. And I'm just going to go ahead and put that in here. Now you can have up to two buttons on your RPC. So we can just go ahead and make one more. And we can do label. And that is going to be Discord. Then we can add a comma and we'll do URL. And I'm going to do HTTPS. We can do this. And we're going to do discord.gg slash coding lounge. So that's all the buttons I can do. And that's actually everything I can do for my RPC. So I'm gonna come down here and do rpc.on and we're gonna be ready. And we can do comma async. We'll open this up right here. We can go ahead and do console.log. We're gonna go ahead and say RPC presence up. Now we can go ahead and run our activity function by doing activity just like that. Now we can go ahead and do set interval. Now basically what we're doing here is we're just gonna go ahead and run our activity function. We're gonna go ahead and set an interval here. So for me, this is just gonna be however many intervals you want um, but this is going to basically restart the activity just to make sure it's up and running now we can come down here and actually do rpc.login and we can open this up we're going to do client id and that is just going to be our id variable just like that so with that we are actually done so we can go ahead and open up our terminal again here now to actually go ahead and turn this on all we have to do is node space dot now in the console right here you're going to notice that it does say rpc presence up so now we can actually go over to our discord over in our discord server if we actually go ahead and click on my profile right here as you can see it's going to go ahead and say tutorial rich presence which is the name of that application now right here it's going to go ahead and say rpc details rpc state it's going to go ahead and say our time left now i guess i did make a mistake you can only do an end timestamp or a start timestamp. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that end timestamp and then I'm gonna go ahead and do node space dot here again. So back over to our Discord server. As you can see here, it's gonna go ahead and give us our start timestamp, which is counting up now. Um, so now we actually have our large image and it does say large image text. As you can see, we did put that in here. And same thing, if we hover over our small image, it's gonna go ahead and say small image text as well. Now for our buttons, like I said before, you can have up to two buttons. So if I go ahead and click on the YouTube, it's gonna go ahead and bring me to my YouTube. If I go ahead and click on that Discord button, Button. As you can see, it's going to go ahead and bring me to my Discord. So that's how you can actually code a custom RPC status for your actual Discord account. If you need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video.